Hey, my snickerdoodles. Hope y'all are well. So, I had my interview this morning. I don't know where to start on this. Craft things. Interview. Stuff. Anyway, had my interview this morning. I was late because where I interviewed was actually like a really big uh, hospital area. And uh, I got the wrong building. And so, what I need you to know is that I spent like 15 minutes this morning trying to decide what I was going to wear. Actually, specifically, what shoes I was going to wear. And I really wanted to wear my glittery chucks, but I thought, mm, that's the chair. But does that say too much about me to go in wearing sequin black chucks or lipstick red heels? I don't know. So I, I went with a different pair of kind of ombre, ombre fancy. Anyway, I still got through to the next round. So very excited. My donation stuff is dry. Yes, I have a lot of clothes. I have a lot of small clothes. I have a lot of tank tops, small clothes. <laughs> So does my kid. We do not have a ton of closet room. And I'm not willing to part with things because this right here, y'all, is a Millennium Falcon peasant blouse that I'm wearing. And people will have to rip it off my corpse. But I saw this YouTube. Or short. Or real. Or something. Of this woman who was using, um, like, shower curtain hooks to put over her um, closet tension bar, or closet bars, um, to hang her things on. And I thought, that is really brilliant. And then I thought, I have the things to make those. And so I did. And they look really cute. <laughs> and they work really well. I'm turning the camera around. I'm going to try and be quiet. How cute is that? I just stuck a bunch of them together, but each one holds two of my husband's shirts. Which, not for nothing, he's not petite. So, I'm super excited because it worked really well. I literally used one piece of wire. I can't remember what gauge this is. Hold on. Oh my god, why do I always sit... They're actually all squeaky. Um, this is 16 gauge galvanized wire that I had because I don't know why. Pliers. And a hammer. You can try this at home, but if you poke out an eye, I'm just going to say, you poked your eye out, you poked your eye out. Okay, so just a little bit at the end. Curve in. I don't know, I've probably got some guys being more masculine people but out there being like, oh my god, look what she just did. I can tell her 18 different ways to fix that. I don't know why. Anyway, so, and then I'm going to flatten it a little bit. Boop. And then I'm going to curl it in. Now, I did try using my needle nose, which are lovely, but um, those are the ones I use for jewelry um, when I'm doing this. But they was just, they were a little too small to make big, bigger shapes. I don't know. Listen, I'm trying to understand the assignment, but I don't think we say that anymore. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Just kind of turn it in. Now, the other thing you can do is you can actually take a nail file, like an emery board, to the ends of your wire because they can be really pokey. You can literally just take a nail file and file that down so that there's no burr um, because you don't want to rip anything or poke little tiny holes in it because I feel like those would be comments that I don't want on my page. Okay, so my husband is out here. He's opening the door. Now what I did is I took... Hold on, I'm coming. Oh my God, with the chair. This is like a tension bar from the dollar store that we had because my daughter's closet is a whole shit show that I haven't told anyone about yet. I might get there. So I'm just kind of giving myself a couple inches. Can you see that? Okay, now I'm just going to wrap it around and up on this part. Okay, this is going to be what's going to, okay, it's a really cute Millennium Falcon peasant blouse, but pom-poms just don't work for me some days. Same thing on the other side, you're just going to push it, push your curly cue side up, and then uh, this, okay, I made this too long, did I make this too long? Yes, is it for pants now? I'll say yes. Okay, and then you can just kind of bend it. 
however you like it. I have one of these up in my daughter's room and it is currently holding my, my vintage Canucks jersey and her jeans, which were my jeans. I'm going to just take all that back and put them in my closet on the little hanger dewies that you can just clip over your closet bar, which now looks super cute. Um, I didn't think about it until right now. Anyway, Snickerdoodles, I hope you're having a good day, and we'll talk soon. Bye.